Yeah. So you put these two ends together, and then you put a nail in. When you see the back, you see, there's a V nail here. As best you can. So in only gentle tension because you don't want to move it for that side. Two. One here, one here. Don't put them in too hard. If they stand upright, proud, you know, when, don't hammer them down because you might have to get them off. Okay, just okay. Yeah. So we have enough to be able to pull that corner up, and on this one, it's going to be very tight. Need to pull that over, that needs to go over there, and I think I'd like to pull this one out if I could because it's just a bit too far. What we're doing is we get our fingernail, we force our fingernail right into the corner there. Mm -hmm. Pull that down and across, and we're making a fold that sits down across that line there. And the reason we run a staple in here. I'm not going to say it can't be done without a staple, but when we push this thing over, it tends to slide this and you get a bit of a bulge here. Mm -hmm. So when I pull that over there, like that, I can pull it, pull it down, and I can get a very tight, straight fit, rather than one that's loose. Now, the other thing here is, is that I haven't removed this mm -hmm. component here. People do it different ways. It is, of course, true if that is entirely removed, it's going to be neater and sit down further. The other thing that I do is actually bring it yes. in under there and then that disappears. Well, th look, there's so many different choices for this, right? You can either bring it in under there, depends how far you chop it back, or, as many people do, totally remove the flap completely as they do it. But I ask you to think about, as I said, is that uh, think about how this sits on a wall. Typically, at the bottom of these things, one puts little stoppers to hold them off the wall. Mm -hmm. The stoppers fall off over time. Although it's not as pretty, sometimes a relatively large build-up, at least at the bottom, helps you stand off the wall a little bit without the stopper that's going to fall off. So I'll leave it up to all of you to, to the way that you treat the bottom here. Either mm -hmm. fold it under, either get rid of it. I do not like it, however. It's not, I'm not saying you can't, but you run the risk of this. Mm. So, if you're going to do it like that, it has to be held down like so. Yep. Alright? Front angles. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, if it's standing up on a line like that, I reckon that's pretty good. I might just leave that and do the rest of it on the table because it's that sitting up. You're not going in. I've not got in. Then the other two. Uh, if you've seen enough, Barry, it's fine. Oh yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, which which is the one we're going to do? That one down there. Right. Well, right side. Oh, they're pretty pretty mean these days. Oh. Do 
Jimmy, am I going to see you on that um, Channel 7 Airways? <laughs> right, you reckon you're right? Positive? Positive. Okay, here's, here's the way to do it. Stick your hand in this. <laughs> so, the way this goes is that up here is nothing. You just hold it. Look, you can get supports to hold the things down. Don't worry about that. Right, so let's do it. You, Similar size there, so there's enough to go there. And normally, normal like, steel ruler there and you just pull backwards. If you wish. It just gives it a nice edge. But we've got to. Oops, sorry. Make a few up for him, you'd be so happy.